What are electric lines of force? Coulomb's law states that the electrostatic force between two particles is proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Also, we know that opposite charges attract and like charges repel each other. But how do we visualize this? In 1830s, English scientist Michael Faraday answered this problem by introducing the concept of field lines as an aid for visualizing electric and magnetic fields. Electric line of force is an imaginary straight or curved path along which a unit positive charge tends to move in an electric field. After observing the experimental patterns, the properties of electric lines of force were stated. Electric field lines originated from a point charge or infinity and terminate on a negative charge or infinity. If there is a positive charge in its surrounding, electric field lines will be in radially outward direction. Electric field lines have a tendency of termination towards a negative charge thus lines will bend and terminate towards the negative charge. If charge magnitude is more, bending will be more. Similarly, electric field lines also have tendency to bend away from the positive charges. Number of electric field lines originating or terminating is directly proportional to magnitude of charge. For example, if 10 lines are drawn from 5 coulomb charge, then 20 lines will be drawn from 10 coulomb charge. Tangent at a point on an electric line of force gives the direction of electric field and force at that point. Two electric field lines can never intersect. If it happens, then two tangents will be drawn at their points of intersection. Which means there will be two direction of electric field lines which is not possible. Electric lines of force are closer, crowded, where the electric field is stronger and the lines spread out where the electric field is weaker. Since the electric field lines are more dense at point A, therefore, electric field strength at point A is more as compared to point B. Electric field lines never exist in closed loop because Electric field lines can never start and end on the same charge. Electric lines of force do not pass through a conductor. Hence, the interior of the conductor is free from the influence of the electric field. Electric lines of force can pass through an insulator. Let's solve an example based on these properties. Question. A few electric field lines for a system of two charges Q1 and Q2 fixed at two different points on the x-axis are shown in the figure. These lines suggest that choose the correct option. This question was asked in JEE Advanced 2010 exam. The electric field lines originating from Q1 and terminating on Q2. Therefore, Q1 is positive and Q2 is negative. As the number of lines associated with Q1 is greater than number of lines associated with Q2, therefore, magnitude of Q1 is greater than magnitude of Q2. At a finite distance on the left of Q1, the net electric field can't be zero because the electric field created by Q1 will be greater than Q2. As the magnitude of Q1 is greater and the distance smaller, electric field directly proportional to Q by R square. At a finite distance to the right of Q2, the net electric field is zero. Here, the electric field created by Q2 at a particular point will cancel out the electric field created by Q1. This concludes our video on electric lines of force. Students must remember the properties of electric lines of force to answer similar questions correctly. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn. Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.